that green light. Give me that green light, man. Give me that green light. Give me that green light, man. Give me that green light. Give me that green light, man. Give me that green light. Give me that green light, man. This episode of Greenlight Maine is being brought to you by Maine and Company, helping bring business to Maine. CEO to CEO. Good morning. Welcome to Greenlight Maine. I'm your host, Julian Gervais. With each week, the competition is heating up, and this week's round is guaranteed to literally throw some sizzle in the game. Fire and Company and Humphreys Barbecue are about to face off for the hundred grand, and in a little bit. We'll talk to Maine and Company about all they do for business attraction in the Pine Tree State. First, let's meet the people with the tough decision today, our judge mentors. Welcome back, Marty Groman. Good to see you. Thank you, Julian. Thanks for having me. It's an honor and a pleasure to be on. And we're happy to have you. So tell us about what you do. So I'm the exec executive director of E2 Tech. We're a statewide energy and environmental nonprofit. And I also host a podcast for Maine entrepreneurs called The Grow Maine Show. I love your podcast. Thank you. And next up, we have Michelle Nuyar from Southern Maine Community College. Tell us about what you do there. So I am a professor of business at Southern Maine Community College, and I own a company called Nuyar. I work as a business consultant working with companies who uh, need to scale up, um, either shore up and get ready to grow, or are fully into growth and need some help. Perfect fit for Greenlight Maine. And finally, welcome Ben Davis. Tell us about your company. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Um, my name is Ben Davis. I'm one of the co-founders of Opbox. And at Opbox, we create pop-up commercial spaces for both retail and hospitality businesses. Perfect. All right. Well, we're going to talk to you all in just a few minutes, but it's time to introduce our first company of the day. Welcome, Ryan, from Fire and Company. You have a lot of balls in the air. So you've got your restaurant, Noble. On Forest Ave? Yeah, so I own um, I own a couple different businesses. I own a concession business. Uh, we do about five to 12 big events a year in uh, northern New England. I own a barbecue restaurant called Noble Barbecue, small 20-seat restaurant, outer Forest Ave. Which is uh, awesome, yeah. Which is, which is really great. Uh, we do a lot of catering with that as well. And then I own Firing Company, which is a wood fire catering company that primarily services um, destination weddings during the summer and fall seasons. Uh, everything's cooked on site, everything's cooked with wood. Uh, it's all wood fire flavors. Um, so those are kind of what I have going on right now. Awesome, all right. Well, we are interested in hearing all about what you brought here today. So whenever you're ready, go for Let's it. Let's do it, yeah. So that kind of leads me into the pitch, if you will. So for the past eight years, I've been cooking with fire and I've been cooking on site at events. So about a year ago, I built this to primarily service um, lobster bakes and oyster roasts. So there's two different plates that were to steam the lobsters, steam the oysters, cook with wood on site. And we got through about two or three lobster bakes or oyster roasts and we realized, I think we've created the best grill in America. So we made a couple tweaks, which is what you see now. And I'm here to talk about the grill equipment itself as far as going after the high-end grill market or like a luxury grill, if you will. Um, over the past year, uh, it's transformed my catering business. It's assisted in helping my barbecue bis uh, business, excuse me, and it's also uh, helped grow my concession business. So from a commercial standpoint, um, it's, it's done a lot of great things for me, and I think it could for others. And then as a personal residential backyard high-end grill, I feel like it could do very well in the marketplace. Uh, it's, you don't need to plug anything in. It's all wood-fired. Um, it's a lifetime guarantee. We've left, I think this is the one I left outside all winter long, let it get buried in snow. The winter went away, we sprayed it with some Pam, put it out in the desert of Maine for a photo shoot, lit everything up, worked totally fine, got that photo shoot into Vogue. Um, so this thing I think has a lot of different functions, this cooking apparatus if you will, that I feel like could be very applicable for backyard consumption, for commercial use, for state parks, for um, state beaches, obviously, campgrounds, hunting lodges. Uh, I think there's a definite place for this in the marketplace. Uh, and that's what I'm here to talk about. Um, with the $100,000 that, that could be awarded, uh, I have a good working relationship with a local, uh, a very large local retailer in the state of Maine uh, that we've done through Fire and Company and Noble a lot of work with. Um, 
nothing's on paper yet as far as a contracted agreement, but I feel very good in saying that if I had 50 of these sitting in a warehouse, that it could go on their floor for this coming winter season. So I'd love to talk further about this and what it can and could be and what it is, and more specifically taking that money and putting it into production and putting it into sales and marketing. Um, because I feel very good about this. Awesome. Well, great job and great pitch, and that is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and it's cool to look at. Uh, it, it's, I mean, it's great to look at when the fire is going and there's food on it. Um, I mean, everyone can relate to food, right? So that's good. So I, I went on a couple of the episodes last night on my phone, and there was people talking about NASA and, and some other things I can't really relate to. The one good thing is that we can all relate to food. Hopefully, we can all relate to cooking food. This thing makes cooking easier. It makes things taste better. Um, you can't break it. And they uh, really want to ask you some questions, so I'm going to kick sorry, it off. I'll just keep talking. I don't yeah, need yeah, to yeah. interrupt you, but Ryan, go for it. So does this thing involve welding, Ryan? I love welding. You do? Yeah, yeah, it does. So, um, so with my other businesses, I've had custom things built over the years. Uh, I have a gentleman in Scarborough who made these. Um, so it's all, as you see, it was all uh, made in Scarborough. It was all custom built. That's been... Really, um, one missing link is finding a fabricator who could make and hold 50 to 100 of these. Uh, I've been fortunate to find a local fabricator who can, um, and we're playing with some with some advantageous numbers. Michelle, awesome, love your barbecue, by the way. Oh, thanks. Are you um, uh, yeah, lo Yes, love Sweet. it. All right. You have a very wide lane. Yeah. How are you going to narrow? Who's your ideal client? right out of the gate good question uh yeah and i mean full transparency that's some of what i'd like to do with the marketing budget i spoke of is to sit down with a marketing team i uh, i have a pretty good uh, branding and marketing team right now that i work closely with so that'd be part of it but to be totally honest i kind of want to go for the high-end client the person that wants to spend 2500 to three thousand dollars on a grill because they're there and i think this is as good if not a better product than what they're already paying for ben um, Ryan, you're obviously a great brand guy. The thing looks great. Your logos are awesome. How do you, going off um, Michelle's question about your customer, how do you tap that same emotional uh, connection that people have to like the big green egg or other things like that in your... That's it, my man. Uh, it's marketing and branding. Um, yeah. So for instance, two weeks ago, I took this thing in the back of a Jeep with two other friends. Um, we go out to Peaks Island in Maine. We go to an island, go on the rocks, and we do a lobster bake out on the island, out on the rocks by the beach. It's that easy. Um, it's, it's, it, you know, as long as you have a recipe and a cookbook, which Byron Company could supply of our recipes and our photographs, um, the, I think the marketing and branding, the life of the brand is what would be behind pushing the product, um, is what Fire and Company can do. Great job. We gotta take a quick break. So okay. sorry to cut you off. Okay, so that was a really good pitch. When we come back, we are gonna have our Sunday morning conversation with Maine and Company, so don't go away. I truly believe that if you're gonna do something better, you gotta start by innovating. Think about how to solve for a customer problem in a way that's quicker, different, and more customer centric. The banks promise has been fundamentally the same from the beginning till now. And that's ensuring that all that we do is making the lives of our employees, our customers, and the communities better. And it's their better, not what's defined as our better. At Sutherland Weston, it's not just about being persuasive, it's about being prepared. Too many agencies get excited about how to gain attention, but not what happens next. We know what happens next is really the important part. That's why we've had 15 years of continuous growth as a responsive, problem-solving, creative partner. One who's not afraid of accountability, responsibility, or what happens next. Looking for a creative, strategic partner? Let's talk. Welcome back to Greenlight Maine. Our Sunday morning conversation is with our partner, Maine & Company. And joining us now is Vice President Ashley Pringle. Welcome to Greenlight Maine. Thank you for having me. This is great, great to be here. It's great to have you. Uh, for our folks at home who might not be familiar with Maine & Company, can you just give us a brief overview? Certainly. Um, so Maine & Company is a private nonprofit that helps businesses move to Maine or expand within Maine. 
Um, we've been around about 20 years, and we help companies across all industries, really, to uh, try to succeed here in Maine. You guys do a great job, and you do so much. Can you give us kind of a picture of what it looks like when you're doing business attraction? You go, you leave the state, you work with other companies to like lure them in, right? Yes. So yeah. it's, it's kind of a, a sales cycle, if you will. Um, you know, we travel across the country, across the globe going out and meeting with those companies that might be growing, that might have their headquarters someplace else that's looking for their second or third expansion, and Maine might be a good fit for them. And it really comes down to building that relationship with those companies and learning what they need to be successful and trying to show them how they can do that here in Maine. And by the time you're done, you probably know each and every member of their family, <laughs> and it might take, what, years to do this? Yes, you know, some of these sales cycles are, you know, three to four years, but then some of them are really quick, you know, three months. It really depends on what the company's needs are, and um, but it's interesting getting to know the, the clients very well. You build a strong relationship with them. How about a success story? Okay. Um, well, we've been very successful in the last uh, several years um, since I've been there. I've been there about five years, and it's been a great run. It's been a lot of fun, and one company we worked with recently that's really um, been great here for Maine is a company based in San Francisco. They look to do their first East Coast expansion, and they ch selected Maine. And they have a location in Lewiston, and they actually just made another announcement for their second expansion. So more great jobs for Maine. Uh, we're pretty proud, and we're happy to have that company here in Maine. That's a good news story for Maine. Great. And what about your support? Who do you work with here within the state? So we have uh, a small and nimble team at Main Company, but also we have a great uh, board of directors that support us and want to see companies strive here. And they support us, you know, in any way that they can to help us, you know, see that those companies can land here and be successful. Excellent. What a great platform for the state of Maine. It's a lot of fun. All right. Well, thank you so, so much for being here. <laughs> so good to see you. I know you're a new mom, so congratulations yes. with that, too. Yes. Sleep deprived and doing an interview. This sounds like a great idea. Well, you yeah. did an awesome job. So please <laughs> come back and see us again. All right. Thanks, Julie. All right. We are going to take a short break and hear from our sponsors, but don't go away because we're still in the barbecue field. Humphrey ba Humphrey's Barbecue is coming up next. Furniture for Greenlight, Maine is provided by Thomas Mosher Furniture, handmade American furniture since 1972. Reaching new customers online is hard. You've tried Facebook, Google Ads, email. You even built a website 10 years ago. You're way too busy to focus on digital marketing and you're not getting results. At Dream Local Digital, that's what we do. We've helped businesses nationwide grow with online marketing. We're the experts. Let us help you. We're very proud of the product we make and the way that we make it. The most important features of our original dog vest are in its design. Traditional lenders, you know, they steer away from unproven track records. Can you come? Hold up. CEI gave us the opportunity to build a track record, show that our future path will be more solid than our past. Welcome back to Greenlight Maine. Our second company is Humphreys Barbecue, and joining me is Chad, who is an avid barbecuer and enters several competitions on a world championship team. Yes, yes, I do. I uh, cook throughout the United States and Canada with a team out of Abington, Massachusetts. Uh, they're two-time world champions. And uh, we've won several grand champions together cooking. And I also help write recipes for cookbook authors. Nice. And today you're going to tell us about this beautiful cooking cabinet. I am. So whenever you're ready, look at these nice people over here. They're very nice. <laughs> they want to give you money. So whenever you're ready, just take it away. Excellent. Thank you. Hi, I'm Chad Humphrey, president of Humphrey's Barbecue. We're located in the small, rural, southwestern main town of West Newfield. A lot of people don't know where that is, but we're in the bottom left-hand corner of the state on the border with New Hampshire. My wife and I started in business back in 2004, and six years ago, we developed a reverse flow insulated convection water barbecue smoker. And I brought one with me today. It's a vertical cabinet style. We make them in several different sizes, one from about half this size to our biggest build ever, which was last year, which can hold four whole hogs at once, and that one's used commercially. 
We sell these from uh, a dealer network throughout the United States, and uh, we have one in every state, all 50 states, and throughout uh, the world. We sell them uh, uh, through a dealer network in the United Kingdom and Denmark, but also export directly from our West Newfield main facility to Australia, Estonia, Japan, Canada, uh, so we are worldwide. Now what makes our cooking apparatus different from a traditional barbecue smoker that you can buy at a, at a large retail store or even a custom builder is the way we designed it. These units are reverse flow. So what that means is you cook with charcoal and wood in the bottom. In the hot air and smoke, go through a system, go up through, come down, and exit through the back. So that gives you a convection cooking. So it's a very even um, throughout cooking process. It's also insulated, and we designed it that way so it could cook in the harsh main winters without any effect. I like cooking outside in the wintertime. I'm home a lot more in the wintertime, so that's when I really want to use this. So we've done events outside when it's been a blizzard and the snow builds up around the unit, so there's no heat loss or virtually very little heat loss throughout the outside. This has also helped us in other parts of the world like the tropics where you want to do the exact opposite because it's so hot and humid, they want to try to keep a cooler temperature because of the radiant heat hitting the outside of the unit. So our insulation and proprietary products help do that. We build this thing entirely in, in our facility in West Newfield, Maine, where we employ 12 people from welders and fabricators to machinists, powder coaters, assemblers, and, uh, and other support personnel. Um, our biggest thing right now is we're out of space. Uh, we are having a hard time finding uh, extra room. We're growing. Uh, we sell uh, about 600 average units a year. A lot of that depends on the size of the units. If they're smaller, we can put more out in a year, but if they're large and custom units for a commercial entity, it does take up more time. And so that last year we sold a lot of larger units. So we were at 600. One thing we'd like to really um, do is take our product to the next level. And we want to come out with future products later on and the show could help us do that. Great job. Thank can you. you use charcoal and wood interchangeably in that tray? You can. We like to tell our customers to start with a base layer of a good lump all natural charcoal, which has no fillers, there's no coal dust, it's a pretty much a gasified tree. Um, what you want to do, because this is reverse flow, it's ultra concentrated smoke. So if you use a lot of wood, you're going to end up with a bitter product. So just three or four little tiny two inch, three inch wood chunks in there will give you plenty of flavor. All right. Marty, question. I'm a huge fan of Maine businesses exporting. Tell me what your export customers are looking for and how can you grow that side of your business? Our export customers are looking for something that will make the trip safely across an ocean, um, not arrive damaged, and something that's a quality build that they're not gonna have to try to order replacement parts for. And we offer that. Every part on this cooker has been sourced by us to be a long lasting component. And what, what, would, what we do to grow that um, portion of our export is just customer satisfaction and follow up. Uh, we're there, we, we answer questions all hours of the night and deal with the time changes. Uh, we also have a staff that helps us with our social media marketing when they contact us on Facebook for advice and, and need help. Michelle. Great. Um, you talked about needing space and going to the next level. What specifically would you do with 100000 and what immediate impact could that make on Humphreys? Uh, the $100,000, as far as uh, the space, would help us put a down payment on a new commercial facility. We, we are grossly um, overusing the building that we're in. Uh, we move a lot of stuff around two or three times a day, so it cuts into our productivity. And if we had a larger facility, we easily could uh, ramp up production. Chad, this is so cool. What kind of, uh, what kind of protection do you have on this uh, in IP or, or do you have a patent or how do you protect this? We don't have a patent on the whole entire unit. This was originally patented in 1986 by one of our competitors. Uh, so that has expired. We have improved upon that design, but we haven't patented our improvements. We've been in the marketplace for over six years successfully. Um, other companies have tried to clone our airflow setup and haven't really been able to do that. Um, we do have a patent pending on our um, slide out water pan conversion kit, which is an accessory to our build. 
Okay, is this designed just for outside or could someone put this in their kitchen too? Uh, commercially, you could put this inside with a fire marshal's approval. Um, that's dependent upon health code and fire code from where your restaurant is. Residentially, we only recommend these for outdoor use. Okay, great. Great job and great questions by our judges. We need to take a quick break, but when we come back, our judges are going to talk this out, so don't go away. Broadcast facilities are provided by Hassan University's NESCOM, the New England School of Communication. You know, I believe in business today there are too many experts and not enough expertise. I think there are too many promises and not enough follow through. Those things used to be the norm, but now they're the exception. At Sutherland Weston, we work hard every day to be that exception. We've had 15 years of continuous growth and I'm proud of that. I think if your business is looking for a creative, responsive, problem-solving partner, if you're looking for the exception, I think we should talk. We're honored to be Greenlight Maine's CPA firm sponsor. Maine is home to a range of businesses from startups that you might see on this program to closely held businesses and organizations that operate internationally. ARB's advisors are providing savvy solutions to complex issues for sophisticated and growing businesses of any size across Maine and throughout New England. And we're doing it the way you want Mainers to, guided by our local, sensible values. Albin, Randall, and Bennett is a proud sponsor of Greenlight Maine. Many people are intimidated by the thought of going to a networking event. Well, here's a helpful hint. When you go to a networking event, think about shining the light on the other people, not yourself. You think you're going to have to be so witty and intelligent sounding, but if you're actually an intent listener, you'll be even more memorable. Thanks, Nancy, for that marketing minute. It is so very helpful to companies. All right, so it's now time to get down to business. Our judges are going to deliberate. Mm -hmm. Let's kick this off with Fire and Company. What'd you think? So it's all barbecue all the time for us now, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, we're all really hungry. Yes. Yes. I thought it was a great uh, uh, concept. I know that the barbecue that they serve at Fire and Company and Noble is very good, high quality barbecue. So I think Ryan and his team know where they're coming from. Absolutely, they've built a good brand. They're known in the community. Um, very early stage, they have a lot of work to do as far as research and really putting together what does that look like to get to the next step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the branding, the thing is totally Instagrammable, right? So mm -hmm. he's they're really good at that, but it seemed like they maybe haven't quite put the plan together where how you get from five units to 500 and, and then on. Right, yeah, he does have the experience, like you said, behind him. He's a great chef. He's got his noble restaurant, which is hugely successful, so he has got a lot going for him. Yeah, I think it's got immense potential, and I asked about welding because you could see the job creation potential in making that here in Maine, but it did feel a little bit like, uh, you know, we didn't completely have it mapped out, knew what the costs were, uh, you know, how to sort of scale up. I didn't think all of that was quite there yet. He did mention off camera about the clean burn. So when you're burning yes. wood and you're cooking with mm -hmm. it, it tastes mm -hmm. so much better as opposed to charcoal that has the carcinogens in it. So that, that's something worth noting. Mm -hmm. Okay, switch gears to Humphrey's Barbecue. What'd you think? This guy's got, what well, he sold 600 to date, so he's mm -hmm. got some sales behind him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ordered one there in the break. Yes, that's right. We <laughs> were all over that. No, no. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I thought that was extremely impressive. Uh, 12 employees there in West Newfield, Maine, which is uh, in itself, I think, a remarkable achievement and a very good one. Shared with us uh, off camera that the company offers a retirement plan, health benefits, a variety of different things like that. I thought that was really great to hear. Nice husband and wife team. His wife does the sales. They're answering you know, social media messages at midnight, which is great. Mm -hmm. You don't get that customer service everywhere, right? Yeah, they were dynamic. Um, what I liked about them is they've got the history, they've got the brand, but they're really thinking ahead as far as um, future designs and patenting what they can in in the, um, the the unit itself. And you talked a lot about you know very clear goals, pretty aggressive goals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's great to see the. Uh, his experience translating in from a world-class cooking competitor to developing this product and really getting it out there in the hands of people who are going to use it. Absolutely. 
So he's marketing to restaurants, um, you know, backyard barbecue users, different types of companies, several channels, right? That's what I was going to say, too. You can think of all these use cases he shared with us off camera that you, you can get one uh, branded with Harley or North Carolina or things like that. I can just seems like the sky's the limit for that piece of the business. It's okay. nice to have a real tangible use for the money as well. They, they've, got a, mm -hmm. they've got a goal and a plan mapped out of how they're going to use it. That's nice to see. Yeah, I mean, you guys spend a lot of time with these people off camera so you get to ask them a lot of questions and find out what their use is for the money what their five-year plan was he wants to be up to 46 employees in five years um, they are a family-owned business but they do they are just busting at the seams right I would say that both of them I just love the passion and the energy that they bring to real main manufacturing businesses awesome well, you, you guys are great and they're both feel-good businesses like family memories, sitting around the camp, like good food, um, both very marketable and also strong brands, you know, known in their space, yep. um, lots of potential. I can see both of them. All right. Find the company you absolutely want to buy from. Yeah. All right. When we come back, we're going to find out who today's winner is. So don't go away. In 1972, Tom Moser committed his life's work to craft and four decades later employs 70 fine craftsmen and women in our shop in Auburn, Maine. With showrooms and customers from coast to coast and numerous awards and accolades, Tom has firmly established himself as an entrepreneurial tour de force and has proven that a life doing what you love is indeed possible. Reaching new customers online is hard. You've tried Facebook, Google Ads, email. You even built a website 10 years ago. You're way too busy to focus on digital marketing and you're not getting results. At Dream Local Digital, that's what we do. We've helped businesses nationwide grow with online marketing. We're the experts, let us help you. Knowing that I was putting you know, my education in the right hands, I was gonna go to a school where the teachers were gonna care about my education. It actually matters to me. I have a one-to-one -one relationship with all my professors. If I have any questions, they have like the open door policy. If they're in there, I can go and talk to them. My dad always told me, you always wanna go someplace where you're liked, and I feel like Husson brought that to me. Husson is a proud sponsor of Greenlight Maine. Welcome back to Greenlight Maine. We had two feel-good companies on today, but there's going to be one winner. Judges, who's it going to be? Chad from Humphreys Barbecue is today's winner. Congratulations to him. He is moving on in the competition. Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Please check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And of course, you can see all of our episodes on greenlightmaine.com. And be right back here next week after Meet the Press on New Center, Maine. Have a fantastic Sunday. Congratulations. Nice yep. job. Come on over. This episode of Greenlight Maine is being brought to you by Maine & Company, helping bring business to Maine. CEO to CEO. Greenlight Maine would not be possible without the support of all of our corporate sponsors. Thank you. Greenlight Maine has been a paid-for presentation by the Portland Media Group.